its red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave? enormous pleasure to extend a warm welcome to all attending this 2021 commencement ceremony. I am so delighted that we are here in person uh, and I am especially pleased that we are able to host family and friends of the graduates. Parents and family members, thank you for your patience and support during this past year. Graduates, 282 of you matriculated in the fall of 2017. You were filled with optimism and perhaps some idyllic expectations about how your years at Lycoming College would unfold. Your first year was similar to those experienced by other entering classes. Like your predecessors, you marched through the Sykes Gates and your welcome to the college culminated in a formal convocation ceremony. In that first year, you attended guest lectures, performed in musical concerts, competed in athletic events, took field trips, and completed first-year seminars, all typical first-year experiences. Like other classes that came before you, members of your class volunteered to help others facing tragedy, in your case, the catastrophic flooding in Houston, Texas, associated with Hurricane Car Harvey was a seminal event. More activities that are part of the annual rhythms of college life followed in the spring. Outings sponsored by the program in outdoor leadership and education, a habitat trip to Mississippi, the Black Women's Empowerment Conference, Recyclomania, and so many more. Like your first year, the second year of your co collegiate experience was filled with a myriad of events, activities, and contests that are typical of Lycoming at its best. Some of you went on a memorable visit to the New York City Financial District where you were hosted by alumni. Clean Water Institute researchers presented at the Susquehanna River Symposium. Another music gala was held at the CAC. Theater students went to the Kennedy Center and gained recognition for their talent. A student re research fair was held in Pennington. Junior year began in August 2019. Like other facets of campus life, athletics were on full display. The football season was highlighted by an early season upset of Widener at Person Field, and later on a school record of 640 yards of offense. Men's soccer achieved the seventh straight winning season. Women's soccer recorded its first winning season since 27. Women's volleyball earned 18 wins and progressed to the semifinals of the MAC championships. Nine members of the cross-country teams posted career bests at the MAC championship. The student athletes among you thrived in the fall of 2019. Other notable events in the fall of 2019 included the dedication of the Craft Gateway Center, a student curated exhibition in the Lycoming Art Gallery called Blurred Expectations. It challenged negative stereotypes about and paid tribute to uplifting representations of black people and black culture. The college also hosted a re-entry simulation in November and the 13th uh, Pennsylvania College Student Film and Video Festival. The campus was full of activity during the first eight weeks of the spring semester of 2020 as well. On February 20th, Williamsport Mayor Derek Slaughter spoke at an event 
and unveiled a plaque memorializing Dr. Martin Luther King's oration in Clark Chapel in April 1958. Theater department students again attended the Kennedy Center Festival. In February, the swim teams completed their seasons with the women finishing ninth and the men 11th in the MACs and the wrestling team had a successful dual season and placed eighth in Southeast Regional. Women's basketball had a winning season advancing to the MAC playoffs and the men's team won a championship and played in the first round of the NCAAs on March 6th. All seemed normal. Your life was unfolding as anticipated. The weekend of March 6th, you, most of you departed the campus for spring break. On that same day, Pennsylvania announced its first confirmed case of coronavirus. Over the next few days, the situation escalated rapidly. By March 11th, more than 1,100 cases had been confirmed in the United States. The NBA professional league suspended its season. On that same day, I wrote to inform you that Lycoming College would extend spring break until March 23rd. Two days later, Pennsylvania's governor, uh, Tom Wolf, announced the closure of all schools for 10 days. Finally, on September 14th, we made the very difficult, but I still think socially responsible decision to suspend face-to-face -face instruction for the remainder of the semester. Now, the rapidity of these events stunned many of us, and the impact on campus life was significant. Essentially, everything came to a halt. A couple of months passed, a little more than a year ago on May 9th, the Lycoming College Board of Trustees met and endorsed a recommendation that the college should plan for the resumption of residential education in the fall of 2020 in a way that would be both safe and responsible. For many of us, and I'm sure many of you, that was an exhilarating moment because you so appreciate and we so deeply believe in the residential college experience. But it was also sobering, even unsettling, when we tried to envision uh, and meet the daunting challenge of inventing the pandemic residential college. We worked hard during the summer to develop protocols as the calendar turned to August and the opening of the school year loomed, however, profound doubts surfaced about the wisdom to bring you back to campus. Several large universities had reopened, experienced surges of infections, and some even sent their students home. It was at that moment that we placed our trust in you. As your president, I remain steadfast in proceeding with reopening because I have faith in you, the students of Lycoming College. I believe that Lycoming could succeed where others had failed. I know many of you. I know you are people who care about others and truly value the on-campus experience. And you know what? You have validated our trust in you. You have affirmed my faith in you. We had a few problems along the way, but collectively, you have made thousands of appropriate decisions over two semesters by wearing a mask, socially distancing, cleaning desks, refraining from risky gatherings. You've done extraordinarily well. And COVID-19 has strengthened your character, your sense of social responsibility, and I think your willingness to take care of others. You now graduate having developed an enhanced understanding of what it means to be socially responsible, and you've honed your critical thinking skills. During this past year, you developed, I think, an even deeper appreciation of in-person instruction and the ability to interact in person with your faculty and your peers. Easy to take for granted, you really learned how much the classroom meant to you. Your daily decisions to respect and observe protocols heightened self-discipline and demonstrated your commitment to all the members of our community. They were the result of you digesting information about the coronavirus, thinking about the potential consequences of your actions, and accepting their, the idea that there are times when we must sacrifice our personal desires for the greater good. The pandemic made you focused, committed, and determined, 
you gave new meaning to the word resilient. In sum, you supported the faculty administration and staff as we work tirelessly to keep the college open. You were committed to this Herculean effort to deliver on our mission during the pandemic. As your president, I had faith in you before, but I have an even deeper faith in you now. I am deeply grateful to the class of 2021 for the leadership that you have provided during this past year. Thank you and congratulations. So it is now my pleasure to introduce the student chosen to give the senior greeting on behalf of the class of 2021. The selection of the student speaker begins with an invitation to faculty, students, and professional staff to submit nominations. A committee composed of members of the graduating class, faculty, and the vice president for student life makes the final decision among the nominees. Jalen Williams has been chosen as the senior speaker. Hailing from Annapolis, Maryland, he is a criminal justice major with a minor in sociology. As president of the Student Senate, Jalen has served the student body and Lycoming College extraordinarily well the past two years. Under his leadership, he has welcomed new clubs and organizations and provided sound stewardship of the Student Senate budget. Jalen, I invite you to deliver your speech. Here this morning, or this afternoon rather, I saw so many tears from my fellow peers, my aunt and my big brother, and so many other parents and, and family. And I really wanted to start off by saying those tears are tears of joy, and all of you deserve to sit here and re reminisce on what these last four years have been. Congratulations to you all. But thank you, President Trakti, for your introduction. Uh, to uh, President Trotty, our, our Board, Board of, of Trustees, trustees distinguished guests, guests, families, friends, friends faculty and staff, staff, and the members of the Lycoming College community, but to most of all, my fellow graduates, welcome. As President Trotty said, my name is Jay Williams, I'm from Annapolis, Maryland, and today I will graduate Lycoming College with a degree in criminal justice. I would like to thank the people who made it possible for me to stand here today, so thank you to the senior class speaker committee, my professors, my wonderful family, my dearly departed Grandma Mildred, who I wish was here in person, but I know is here in spirit, but more than anyone else, my amazing and devoted parents, Mr. and Mrs. Quincy Williams. Class of 2021, it was just a few short years ago that we sat together on the upper quad and heard the words, think deeply, act boldly, at our freshman convocation. Since then, our class has done a tremendous job living up to the words of President Trotty. In just those few short years, we've accomplished much more on this campus than any other class. The class of 2021 has been one of the most involved in Lycoming's history, with students participating in sports, leading organizations, holding down jobs, sometimes more than one, and still being able to excel academically. Since hearing Think Deeply, Act Boldly, the class of 2021 has been on a mission to prove that they are prepared to do just that, and in a pandemic, I might add. In just a few short years, we have, been, we have seen students put themselves before others as they have worked to identify COVID antigens and assist with students in quarantine. They have faced the world in all its uncertainties. We seniors have led the charge in COVID compliance and now leave a, a high standard of what students need to do to be successful here at Lycoma. In just those few short years, we have created clubs of substance in the fight for justice and equality. One most important is the It's On Us Club, where men and women on this campus fight to see that no one, especially the intelligent women who sit among us today, should be subjected to harassment or assault. 
In just those few short years, athletes have participated not only in their chosen sport, but also in more clubs and organizations than ever before. And as President Chucky pointed out before, uh, let us not forget how we got dangerous not once, but twice and won those MAC championships. Class of 2021, it was just in those few short years we recognized our campus was changing and we established the Unifying Lycoming Committee tasked with ensuring the representation of all cultures on this campus are respected. In just those few short years, we have been able to leave a lasting mark of leadership on this campus with electing two black presidents. In just a few short years, we have worked to reshape the perception of Greek life on this campus building leaders and game changers. We have made lasting circles of friendship and camaraderie, built during our short time here, and made up of some of the greatest people you and I will ever have the chance to know. In just those few short years, we have helped to raise funds from alumni, family, and the community in support of a greater like home. We have seen new buildings, majors, new sports and technologies, and so much more become, of our, become our regular campus life. In just a few short years, the class supported the mission of acting boldly by fundraising over four years and making contributions to our senior class. And it will be so thrilling to see our gift come to fruition when they break ground later this spring. In just a few short years, we have excelled in the fields of biology, psychology, criminal justice, economics, theater, and so many more. We've conducted research, presented at conferences, and did most things undergrads only dream of doing during their postgraduate years. And in those few short years, we will be back on this quad, celebrating our first milestone, the fifth anniversary in 2026, and again, 10 years from now in 2031. And in those few short years, I task you all, the class of 2021, with giving back to the school that has given you so much. Come back to speak to the new generations of warriors, give advice and feedback to organizations, Answer the phone when those students call to make a gift. Give them the same chances and opportunities you were given to those who came before you. And I charge this administration with continuing to offer one of the best liberal arts education in this nation. My fellow graduates, you have heard me say over and over in this speech in just a few short years. And I say this because if you look at all the amazing things that we've been able to do in just a few short years, just imagine what the world will look like in just a few short years. So congratulations to the class of 2021, my fellow graduates, my friends, and I can't wait to see you all again in just a few short years. Thank you.
went on to earn an MBA from the University of Pittsburgh with a focus in finance. Eleven years after he graduated like coming, Stan founded Paradigm Companies, which has become one of the leading real estate development, construction, and property management firms in the greater Washington, D.C. area. Paradigm's internship program for college students has launched more than 125 like coming college graduates into productive careers. It's a good day to talk to him. Stan has served college as a member of the Board of Trustees since 2004 and as chair of the board from 2015 to now. During that tenure, Light Cumming has raised its national reputation, become a leader in enrolling and graduating first-generation students, transformed the physical campus, grown its endowment to more than $230 million, and completed the $75 million campaign for a greater Light Cumming. Stan and his wife, Jolene, also class of 1980, believe deeply in the power of education and they've directed their philanthropy toward promoting educational excellence and creating opportunity. Stan and Joey have also established a Washington, D.C. chapter of the Rocket Ship Public School Network, whose vision is, quote, to catalyze transformative change in low-income communities through a scalable and sustainable public school model that propels student achievement, develops exceptional educators, and partners with parents who enable high-quality public schools to thrive in our community. Members of the Lycoming like College Founders Society, they established an endowed chair that supports the college's innovative program in entrepreneurship. When Stan first joined the Board of Trustees in 2004, he and Jolene established an endowed scholarship for students demonstrating academic promise and financial need. The Slaughters have also been leadership donors to the Crap Gateway Center and the new music building slated to open in the fall of 2022. He and Jolene, as much as any, are responsible for the transformation of this campus. Mr. President, it is my great pleasure and privilege to present Stanley W. Slaughter to receive the honorary degree, Dr. Wallace. Stan Slaughter, in recognition of your service as board chair, your accomplishments as an entrepreneur, and your philanthropic leadership, Lycoming College conveys the honorary degree Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa, with all the rights, honors, and privileges thereunto appertaining. Congratulations, Stan. And I would now I'd like to invite Stan to share a few remarks with the graduating class. Give me a minute to compose myself. <clears throat> congratulations to all of you in the class of 2021. And special congratulations to the parents, grandparents, family members who supported their, these students during their time here at Lycoming. I'm sure all of you graduates know it takes a lot of people to make the magic of a college degree happen. Your professors, the administration, and of course, all of those family members I mentioned before. So I would ask all of you graduates for one moment just to stand up and recognize all of those people who have made this day possible. This is a particularly special class for Lycoming College. Let me just tell you, you are amazing. As the president mentioned, your freshman and sophomore years were filled with all the normal dramas and learning experiences that one might expect. Then your junior year, just as you were figuring out how college worked, you were interrupted by the pandemic, which of course changed everything. First, on behalf of the entire college, we want you to know <clears throat> how brave we all think you and your families are, just for showing up for an on-campus learning experience. And of course, I'm sure you realize, even with all the careful planning from the administration, how brave and dedicated your faculty turned out to be just to show up and teach your classes. It's really an amazing project, and we're really grateful to all of you. This year has been about risk management. And as you wore your masks, tried to socially distance, and generally 
conducted yourself in a way to keep everyone safe. To the outside world, you appear to be colossal risk-takers. In practice, you were tasked to make assessments and choices on a day-to-day -day basis, trusting that those around you would make similar good choices. <clears throat> and it all worked out. So it's this question of risk that I want to take a few moments to talk about today as it relates to your stepping off this campus and out into the rest of your life. Because I'm so much older than you, it may be hard for you to recognize how much we have in common. Like many of you, I was the first in my family to go to college, came to Lake Coming, ready to change the world, but with lots of secret insecurities. The four years passed quickly, and by the time I was sitting where you are sitting now, I was mostly worried about finding a job and impersonating somebody who had a college degree. But with the help of that degree, I did find a job, a very conventional job in the banking industry. And I'm here to tell you that each of you will find that first job as well. And I know some of you are off to graduate school and maybe the military or other things, but you're just postponing the day. At a point in time, you're going to need to find that first job. And they're out there. Um, the world is full of first jobs for hardworking people like you. Be confident that you are prepared to be successful at one of those jobs and then go about being successful at whatever that job happens to be. That's where the fun really starts. As you gain experience and confidence, opportunities will start to become available to you. And you can really start to ask, really start to ask, what do I want to do? Always consider the notion of where you want to end up and keep making choices that push you in that direction. For me, that general direction had to do with supporting myself, with having a non-conventional workday, and with working with people I liked. And I made decisions which looked like I was taking risks to keep going in that general direction. For you, it may be different, but each of you has an idea of how you want your life to turn out, <clears throat> and I can assure you, you will need to take risks to make that happen. Sometimes making a safe choice and expected choice is the right answer, but do not lose sight of the reason you are making those choices. Don't let the fear of failure be one of those reasons. Now, when I talk about risk, I don't want to give you the wrong impression. Your choices will rarely be presented in such stark terms. When I was here on campus, I took a philosophy course. So it's just so that the faculty remembers that we were all liberal arts majors, and so I'm sure many of you took philosophy courses. So I had a professor here named Owen Herring, who I'm sure is, oh, I know, I know is uh, many years retired, but Owen told us, he said, take your cookie while the plate's being passed. And that is really advice about taking advantage of opportunities as they present themselves. To other people, that might look like taking risks, even if it doesn't feel that way to you at the time. In the early 1990s, when the company I worked for closed our offices, and my colleagues and I were all fired, the safe decision would have been for all of us to find new positions at existing companies. To the outside world, starting our own company would have seemed like an enormous risk. But we've been working together, and we really liked working with each other, and laying the foundation for years for that risk. It was a worth risk taking, it was a risk worth taking, and it changed the trajectory of our lives. The plate was being passed, and we took our curtain. So here we are at your graduation, when you begin to understand and appreciate the investments made to get you here, <clears throat> to get you this far, and we'll begin to worry about how to do justice to that investment. We've all had those moments when we stop really telling people what our dreams are because we are worried they will judge our actions to be insufficient.
sufficient for those ambitions. I'm here to tell you to fight against that impulse. Each of you possess your own unique skills, talents, and ambitions, and everyone is anxious to see you try your hardest to get what you really want. This will require both thoughtful analysis, careful preparation, and still an occasional reckless action. You must allow for the possibility of failure, knowing you will be stronger, of course, and smarter for the experience, but also knowing that the effort of trying will change the trajectory of your life in unpredictable ways. Constantly take steps to be the person you imagine yourself being and never be afraid to express to yourself and to others what it is you're trying to do. Take that assignment in a foreign country. Direct that play at the community theater. Take a job with an unknown startup. Fall in love. Move to that place that you always thought you would really want to live. These are the risks worth taking. These are life cookies, life's cookies. And as you look back at your life, you will be glad you took them. You've all heard the old saying, it's better to have tried and failed than to never have tried at all. But I'm just gonna to suggest to you that that statement was probably not made by someone who tried and failed, but it was probably made regretfully by someone who'd never tried at all. I'm here to tell you that you need to be the triers to take that risk and to make your dreams reality. Best of luck, class of 2021. As I said before, you are amazing. Dr. Sprunger is getting himself together here. I neglected in my introduction to say that when you come forward to be recognized for your degree, uh, I am fully vaccinated, and if you want to shake my hand, I will be glad to. If you prefer not to, if you want to bu elbow bump, fist bump, you just signal me what you would like to do, because um, I'm looking forward to congratulating each one of you. All right, I'm, all, I'm all ready to go here. I am pleased to announce the recipient of the Edward J. Gray Prize for the highest grade point average in the senior class. And this year we have co-winners, Sheila Whitman and Bailey Schwank. Why don't you please stand so we can recognize you. The recipient of the Edward J. Gray Prize for the second highest grade point average in the senior class is also a tie. This year, it goes to Emily Kanopka and Brittany Hallby. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I have the privilege to present those students who will graduate with honors. Will those students who will graduate summa cum laude with highest distinction please stand? This recognition is reserved for those students who have earned a grade point average of 3.9 to 4.0. As I read your names, please remain standing until President Trockey has recognized you. And we ask that the audience please hold your applause as I read the names individually. Caleb Beard. Elizabeth C. Buck. Brittany Elizabeth Hallbly. Jessica Joanne Cachetta. Emily Nicole Kanapka. Mark Anthony Morales. Bailey Austin Schwank. Nina Amanda Gloria Sousa. Sheila Whitman. In recognition of your superlative academic achievements, Lycoming College awards your degrees with highest distinction. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will those students who will graduate magna cum laude with high distinction please stand? 
This recognition is reserved for those students who have earned a grade point average of 3.7 to 3.89. The names are listed in the commencement program under magna cum laude. In recognition of your superior academic achievements, Lycoming College awards your degrees with high distinction. Congratulations. Will those students who will graduate cum laude with distinction please stand? This recognition is reserved for those students who have earned a grade point average of 3.50 to 3.69. Again, the names are listed in the program under cum laude. In recognition of your excellent academic achievements, Lycoming College awards your degrees with distinction. Congratulations. Will those students who will graduate with departmental honors please stand? Graduates cited for departmental honors have received the highest distinction that can be bestowed, bestowed by an academic department. Departmental honors are reserved for those who have excelled in their chosen fields of study. In recognition of the excellence that you have achieved in your major field of study, Lycoming College awards your degree with department honors. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will those students who will graduate as Institute for Management Studies Scholars please stand? Graduates cited as Institute for Management Studies Scholars are those who have completed a major or minor in business management, accounting, or economics. They have earned an overall GPA of 3.25 or higher and have completed a program of special seminars and an internship. In recognition of your accomplishments, I am pleased to confer upon you the status Institute for Management Studies Scholar. Congratulations. Will those who will graduate as Lycoming Scholars please stand? Graduates cited as Lycoming Scholars are those who have completed a special program of interdisciplinary seminars an independent study culminating in a senior project, have done distribution at a higher level, and have earned an overall GPA of 3.25 or higher. In recognition of your accomplishments, I am pleased to confer upon you the status of Lycoming Scholar. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will the faculty and trustees present please stand? Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I have the honor of presenting to you the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts. All candidates who have satisfactorily completed this course of study or will complete it by the end of the summer are recommended for the Bachelor of Arts degree by the faculty of the college. Will those who are graduating with the Bachelor of Arts degree please stand? By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Board of Trustees of Lycoming College, I hereby confer upon those of you who have satisfactorily completed your degree requirements the degree Bachelor of Arts with all the rights, privileges, honors, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations. Students, you may be seated. The trustees and faculty uh, remain standing. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty, I have the honor of presenting to you the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science. All candidates who have satisfactorily completed this course of study or will complete it by the end of the summer are recommended for the Bachelor of Science degree by the faculty of the college. Will those who are graduating with the Bachelor of Science degree please stand? By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and by the Board of Trustees of Lycoming College, I hereby confer upon those of you who have satisfactorily completed your degree requirements the, the degree Bachelor of Science with all the rights, privileges, honors, 
and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations. I will now read the names of the graduates as they come to the stage to receive their diplomas. President Trockey will present the diplomas, and joining in the congratulations uh, of the graduates is Dr. Stan Slaughter, Chair of the Board of Test Trustees. And I will say that this year we have a number of students who will be walking virtually. We begin now with the Bachelor of Arts degrees. Jesus Aguilar. Daisy Alejandro Martinez. Sarah Kate Altieri. Nicholas Arantakis. Evan Michael Armstrong. Beverly Avila Lara. Molly Rose Ball. Taylor Jonathan Banis. Deja Africia Lynn Bass. Caleb Beard. He's walking virtually today. Kyle Brian Bennett. Dominic Joseph Berardelli. Bryce Eric Beresford. And Bryce is walking virtually. Michaela J. Bickhart. Inga Owl Brostek. Cameron Lederick Brown. G. 
Gianni Amiro Bryant Lopez. Elizabeth C. Bob. Shane Christopher Casey. Arnold Byron Chu Jr. Aaron Lewis Clark. Naji Trey Corbin. Joshua Jose Cruz Avila. Gerald Curran. Darius Rashad Dangerfield. Jacob Michael Davis. Josette T. Deck. Allison Diddy. Matthew Anthony Dabrowski. Zachary Stewart Dodge. Lucas Robert Drick. Lucas is walking virtually. Ty J. M. During. Erica Elizabeth Edler. Erica is walking virtually. Jacob Estevez. Sydney May Fennington. Grace Ann Filahoski. James Patrick Fisher. And James is walking virtually. Abigail Fleming. Ronnie Flick. Marlene Gallegos. Gabriel Aaron Garcia. Daniel Gin Zhao Seng Gowry. Preston V. Gehring. Taylor Margaret Gessner. Dage Lincoln Geralt Albert. Niasia A. Gordon.
Christina K. Goss. Christina is walking virtually today. Eileen Marie Grimaldo. Rebecca Lee Groff. Milka Guevara. Micah J. Haig. Kalia Calvina Hagwood. Brittany Elizabeth Hallbleib. John Isaac Harshbarger. Rebecca M. Hayhurst. Alex Benjamin Henry. Jason Eric Hepler. Nicholas E. Hunter. Taylor Leanna Huth. Hunter Lee Jackson. Octavius James. Elizabeth Audrey Jednorski. Vamir Stanley Maurice Jenkins. Amanda Grace German. Sarah Marie Jones. Yajna Yukta Jungbador. Matthew William Callion. Jessica Joanne Keshetta. Jessica is walking virtually. Keon Kellum. is also walking virtually. Michelle Elizabeth Kelly. Benjamin Logan Klopp. Emily Elizabeth Craw. Ethan Christopher Landis. Casey A. Lane. Nathan Andrew Lash. Nathan is walking virtually. 
Allison Renee Lax. Emily Ann Lechthaler. Emily Maureen Lasella. Emily is walking virtually. Stephen Matthew Longazelle, Jr. Madison Alyssa Losel. Caitlin Marie Levette. Caitlin is walking virtually. Esmeralda Luna. Erica A. Lutz. Camilla Grace McWilliams. Bina Matha. Leland Malloy. Alan Victor Martin. Samantha Marvin. <laughs> Cecilia Nicole Massey. <laughs> Jordan Matta. <laughs> Alyssa Michelle Matthews. Caitlin Page Mazio. <laughs> Catherine Jeanette McCarty. <laughs> Josiah Jacob McLaren. <laughs> Josiah is walking virtually. Rory J. Mendet. Aiden Mankiste. <laughs> Caleb Miller. <laughs> Caleb is walking virtually. Emily Rose Minier. <laughs> Ryan A. Minnick. Michael Malloy. <laughs> Kelly Lynn Mooney. <laughs> Tyler Morris. <laughs> Alexander Omaro. Jared Micah Moses. Colin Patrick Munley. Tanner Thomas Norton. Emma Marie O'Connor. <laughs> 
Travis Ogden. Travis is walking virtually. Kamso Onwumachili. Curly Para Ortiz. Delaney Perkins. Reagan Margaret Path. Sydney Purcell. Kong Yi Tian. Austin F. Quinn. Siddharth Romden. Ashley Nicole Ramirez. Adarsh Ramnat. Girishwari Rampol. Adam Robert Raymond. Trent William Riggs. Jared Matthew Roden. Andrew S. Rodkey. Ever Fernando Rodriguez. Loida J. Rosario. Loida is walking virtually. Shane Lewis Rose. Rachel Rose Rubright. Connor Ryan Rutan. Samuel Robert Puck Rutan. Jose Alejandro Sanchez Hymas. El Marie Siraco. Elizabeth Saseta Abundis. <laughs> Bailey Austin Schwank. <laughs> Jennifer Silva. Chase M. Snavely. Samantha L. Snover. Megan Elizabeth Snyder. Maverick Cole Stanger.
John Poor Bradley Sweeney. Hunter Swinehart. Alana Nicole Tarbox. Cameron Shields Terry. Gerard Andre Thompson. Kiana Marie Titus. Emily Rose Tobar. Mackenzie Lee Van Den Bogart. Rebecca Andrea Van Dork. Leslie Vargas. Brandon Michael Vogt. <laughs> Kelly Ann Vuzz. Isaiah Niles Watson. Reagan West. Martina Ann Westcott. Sheila Whitman. Christopher Thomas Wig. Quade Matthew Wilbur. <laughs> Bailey Martin Williams. <laughs> Jalen Paisan Williams. Maxwell Williams. Ashton Michael Wolf. Line Dominique Worlds. Leonard M. Wida. Bethany Young. Faisha M. Young. Alexandra M. Yaus. Kara Sue Zortman. That concludes the Bachelor of Art degrees. Now I will turn to the Bachelor of Science degrees to announce. Colin Joseph Allen. Krista Marie Brady. Annabelle Noel Brinkerhoff.
Schweb Kasim Marietta. Jesse Cornell. Christian Fernando Cosenza Gamero. Lucille Ellen Cullen. Thomas J. Dinelli. Daniel Dos Santos. Miriam Haytham Asmont. <laughs> Emily Elizabeth France. <laughs> Ricardo Javier Gonzalez. Logan Jacob Gregory. Madison Victoria Heller. Emily Nicole Kanapka. Sasha Simone Margulies. Jose Ignacio Martinez. Brooke Doris Millisock. Brooke is walking virtually. Katie Lynn Moon. Mark Anthony Morales. Daniel Lewis Moses. Race Neuswanger. Kyle Patrick Pierce. Guillermo Quintaro. Sanjana Sundur. <laughs> Nina Amanda Gloria Sousa. <laughs> Zachariah Allen Staver. Zachariah is walking virtually. Ricardo Alejandro Verdin. Lydia Louise Yorks. And that concludes the Bachelor of Science graduates. about the rest of you, but this is my eighth and I have never felt such joy to be with you and to be graduating you in person. Uh, let's just take a moment to soak that in and applaud that we are at this point where we can do that. So graduates, please stand one final time. You may move your
your tassels. And ladies and gentlemen and friends, I present to you the class of 2021.